is one soon. Happy birthday, Selene. Time to blow out your candles. Don't forget to make a wish. Please, give me back my family. Roberto, Squiggly, save them all! Don't let anyone touch her, you understand? Stop anybody who gets close. Even me. Not what I... Save them. Don't let it fall. Squiggly! Overworking. Let's buy it then. You really did stay with me. Naturally. Though the heart of our conflict has lingered as well. me back. Another Skullgirl has been unleashed on New Meridian. She appears to have stopped the building from crashing into the streets below. Rather curious behavior for a Skullgirl. Carnage would only swell the ranks of her undead army. Commander Parasol, one of the Skullgirl's minions has broken formation. Egrets, do not engage! Repeat, do not engage the minions supporting the wreckage! Help evacuate the civilians! As for the stray unit... Oh, she means us, doesn't she? Are you ready? For over a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Grits. This one is far stronger than the others. Lorenzo Medici! Behind you! The Skullgirl is making her move! <sighs> Don't you dare turn your back on me! For this empire you built on your victim's grave!
not escape. Molly, status report. Most of the debris hit the water. Some buildings were damaged, but I'd say we got lucky. Sir, that strange minion's gone. The Skull Girl is the primary threat. We can't waste time on a rogue minion, no matter how unusual its behavior. Egret, check for citizens that need emergency aid. After that, we're following that airship. The girl is becoming stronger as she loses herself to the heart. My own abilities weren't this strong before either. The scary part is how natural it feels. To my shame, it appears that I cannot entirely block the Skullheart's influence. Don't feel bad, Leviathan. We couldn't have made it this far otherwise. I am forced to admit this is so. If not for that power, I doubt I would even be hearing your voice. What are you talking about? Such a thing, and why? I can think of but one man. And we aren't the only ones who want to see him pay for his crimes. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! <laughs> <laughs> Watch the fan! Would you kindly our Time to bury you. Six feet over. Don't waste that talent. Another dog of Medici's. I don't even recognize New Meridian anymore. How long was I asleep? That I do not know. But I do know that it still reeks of the Medici's. Pardon me, miss, but what year is it? Year? What rock did you crawl out from? Samson. Leviathan. Surprised you ain't dead yet. Though I'd need to ask a coroner to be sure. Are you two friends? Nice to meet you. My name is Philia. Sienna Contiello. But please, call me Squiggly. The pleasure is all mine. The city's changed so much while I was gone. Tell me, do you live around here? No, at least I don't think so. I lost my memory, so Samson is helping me look for the Skull Heart to wish it back. The Skull Heart? Philia! You've gotta learn to shut your yap! What is the meaning of this, Samson? Things got complicated. It's none of your business. Never was. Miss Philia, do you have memories from before your head was occupied by this follicular vagabond? Huh? What do you mean? Stay out of this, worm! Does she seek the Skull Heart? Or have you pushed her toward it? I won't idly watch you bring doom to another host. Speaking of hosts, get a good look at his, kid. I'd say she looks like she ditched her own funeral, but she's not dressed nice enough for it. I beg your pardon! You don't want to make friends with the undead, kid. Can't trust them when there's a skull girl pulling their strings. And they seem so nice, too. You selfish fool, Samson. All these centuries. Yet you've learned nothing. My lady, I humbly beg your assistance in this intervention. Of course. My apologies in advance, Philia. For what it's worth, 
We will aim for the boar infesting you. That's still hitting me in the head! You've gone too far, Samson! Make it flashy, guys! Action! We won't fall! when you're mad. Learned a few new tricks, you old worm! Forgive us, but far worse will befall you if you pursue the Skull Heart. I speak from experience when I say that its consequences cannot be shaken off. Surely you must know what's happening to this city. I hate to say it, but he's got a point. It's not too late to back out, kid. What do you say? No. You can't even remember the life you're risking! I think someone I knew got in a mess, and I'm pretty sure it's my fault. I can't walk away from that just because I don't remember what I did. Samson, you said you'd support me, no matter what choice I made. <laughs> Looks like we can't call it quits just yet. Arrogant fool! Your meddling will end only in tragedy. Who in the world was that? He seemed rather rude and reckless. Samson was once respectable. I even considered him a friend. But that was a long, long time ago. Even before there was a skull heart. I know not what he seeks to accomplish now, but it will not end well for him or that girl. Lorenzo will have to wait. We have to get to the Skull Heart before they do. It shouldn't be too hard to find it. I can feel the Skull Girl's presence again. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this, but I shall follow you to the end. You already did that, remember? May I take the lead? Certainly. This is Tuna with Bacon. Let's rock! Great guys! Yeah. 
Your parasite, it's unusual how it blocks my control. Yet your connection to the heart is strong. Through it, I can sense that you, too, seek revenge against the Medicis. And against the man that silenced you. I believe you're a good person, but the heart's power is poison. Even when you used it to save those people, I could feel its hate growing inside you. I've seen where that hatred ends. You are not immune to its corruption either. You think you can resist the Skull Heart? I can feel your will falter. Before long, its power will overwhelm you. What you are doing. Lorenzo is on the run, and his empire is vulnerable and in disarray. Don't throw away our only chance to break his grip on New Meridian. I'm sorry, I... Squiggly, behind you! You won't give him another chance, yet all you do is disappoint. High and mighty crap. While the assistance is appreciated, your ill intentions are an entirely separate matter. We'll worry about the heart later. Let's team up and take care of this monster! I would be delighted. But whatever you do, don't let your guard down. This foul thing is brimming with the same power as the Skull Heart. Sweetly. Knowing that, do you still want to ally with her? The Contiellos and the Medici's. Need I remind you how things worked out the last time your two families met? I'll let her actions speak for her, not you! Come on, Samson! Let's make a good impression! Right on her faces! This is true love we're making! Let's rock! Not that.
what to say. I didn't know any of this. It doesn't matter. What's important to know is that the heart can never bring happiness. Not for you, your friend, or anyone else. Lorenzo fought a Skullgirl before, but he never ran. Something else has hurt him. He's been weakened and he won't last. For everyone else's sake, I hope you are right. But I suppose you would be the one who would know. What will you do this time, Leviathan? It would appear we've become quite inseparable. I will remain by your side until you next awaken. Thank you. Just another day that didn't go 
the shine.